Hey guys, this is Danny Boy. So this is Sir Kesh. I'll be using Garrus and Edie. I am back to using the Raider shotgun and the Shuriken submachine gun. Can't wait till I get a better submachine gun. Fortunately, you do not get the Locust for quite some time. I have to say, the Raider is growing on me. I am really starting to enjoy the Raider. I used it, I think, to pretty good effect in this mission. I think this mission all the way around went fantabulously. In fact, I did not die once, and it was really, really, really fun. Now, a lot of that has to do with prior knowledge and the fact that I have run this mission many times, especially in the demo. But all in all, went great, had a great time, used charge constantly, and again, you know, never died, never really had any trouble whatsoever. Did get a little dicey near the end because I get just super aggressive eventually not really caring about the result but this will just be a short little explosion and little talking but we will be getting into combat very very soon here we go and so I see red bars so I immediately just charge and shockwave really red bars are pretty much meat at this point and not only do I have the knockback from charge because it's spec for AoE, but you know, I also have Nova, so I have two AoE knockdowns to work with, plus a melee attack if I can land it, which just equals devastation at this point. And now I am not afraid. I am actually going to just sprint into the smoke and just charge right at point blank range into them. And my hope is to knock these guys, I see a corpse fly behind me, to knock these guys just into oblivion essentially. Close one there, but I am not afraid. I have plenty of metagel at this point. You know, the only thing about the Raider is it does only have two shots and it reloads really slowly. So it's very easy to run out of ammo at an inopportune time and be waiting on the reload. But again, not super worried. The only problem at this point is these guys are shooting at me from inside the shuttle, which is an issue. But boom, boom, and there they go. And finish this guy off. The female isn't going to last long against this sort of And there's something right there. I don't know if I remember to pick it up. Oh, it's just a data pad. Money. Monies. I do pick up the raptor and the scorpion in this mission, but I do not use either of them. I stick to That's how we ended up with the genophage. Sorry, wanted to let you guys hear that. I stick to the raider. I'll use the scorpion later. I don't know. I'll probably use the raptor at some point. But I really just wanted to use the raider for the entire mission. And just really put it through its paces. And again, it went quite well. Especially later on. Does great damage. The Raider with Marksman might actually be a fairly solid weapon at longer ranges. It does really do excellent damage, and it fires quickly. I don't know. I still do not have Marksman unlocked. I am still using Dark, or er, yeah, Dark Channel, whatever it's called, and not really suiting my playstyle. I actually try at least once to use it on a, an enemy, and this guy moves close enough that I had the opportunity to melee him, but fortunately I did not react quick enough. I try to set it up so that I dark channel a guy and then charge on them, and my hope was that the charge would detonate it as a biotic detonation, and I think that does work, but only some of the time. Or maybe he wasn't down to red bar yet or something. I, I think I do pull it off, but... Eh. I'm having trouble bothering, really, at this point. Like, really. What does it matter? So I didn't need to charge there, but I didn't have any ammo ready, needed to reload, and I needed shields, so... Finish that guy off, and all that's left really is this dude, and I think a charge will probably kill him. Yep. Oh, no, there's somebody left. I actually wasn't sure that he was dead, so I shot him once. And okay, now I think we're clear. Yep. So now there's going to be a little plot, so I'll be back in just a moment. Are you okay? Containment shield is holding. We'll try to repair if necessary. Can't speak for Krogan's health, however. I'm fine, Commander. Females kept secret. Possibly a mole in STG. Could be indoctrinated. 
If no Krogan aligns with Turians, Reapers left unchallenged. We'll do more than challenge them. Shepard, meet us at next checkpoint. Server is likely to target. Hurry, next checkpoint! And here we go. This is probably familiar. This is where you start this mission in the demo. And there'll be a little editing here just because I actually turn around and I kind of explore this area a little bit more. I really didn't want to miss anything. And I do kill this guy, but I kind of just skip it. And move on to the next fight. And here was an interesting bug. Yeah, there's no floor here. I was kind of afraid to walk over this, actually. Weird. But yeah, so I did, of course, kill him, and there was no trouble, but I backtracked a bit because I thought I might have missed something, so that's, that's what that editing was. Didn't think you wanted to see me run for 20 seconds. So here, I know these guys are coming. I know there's just this one shielded dude and then a whole bunch of red bars. So I open up on him really quickly, finish him off. It's definitely better to aim the raider at center mass after a charge and then fire twice. And then the first shot will be center mass and the second shot will usually be a headshot. Though, if you think a headshot will finish him, you can just aim for the head for the first shot. But it has so much kick that two shots, if you aim for the head, the second one will miss. So just something to keep in mind. I explain all that in my target practice video. And again, I thought I missed something, and there it is. Trying to be really thorough, I kind of just flew through everything in my first playthrough because I wanted to get it out as quickly as possible. But this time I'm trying to be a little bit more meticulous, especially for those who are actually interested in the locations of these things. Their tactics have grown even more vicious since I was acquainted with them. You'll also notice I am now using armor-piercing ammo that is from Garrus. I did say I wanted to spec into it, and it is quite nice. I'm not going to let you guys skip this. This is so short. Who cares? The turret. We. And I think in my demo I said, ah, oh, it's really hard to flank these guys, and blurp -a -derp -a -derp -a -derp -a -derp. But that was before I knew what the hell I was doing. It's actually very easy to flank this with a quick charge. That guy moves... Out of position, I flank him, I just duck around this column. I make sure that there's nobody behind me. I was kind of forgetting about radar. It's something that comes and goes. Have to remember that next time. The only real trouble is they just wanted to finish him off, so I think I used a concussive shot or something. They do flank you from the left, and you'll actually see, and I don't know where he came from or how he got past me, but in a little while, an engineer will just run straight behind me and just not even attack me so kind of got lucky there granted it wouldn't have been a problem could have easily done a bunch of stuff to counter him just myself or my party members just an overload a charge or whatever that should be coming up yeah here <laughs> hello and he just kind of ignores me so i think he actually did shoot me a couple times but it didn't go through my shield and i do not want to let him do any of that so i finish him off this thing's down to armor not really any sort of issue. This was so fun, guys, by the way. This was such a fun mission. I loved how this all came together just beautifully. But I'm actually trying to damage this through his repair. He was repairing it a bit. But I think I'll be able to do it. And there it goes. Now just open up, ignore the red bar, go after the engineer. And then there's actually two other guys over here, two red bars. But not a big deal. And there we go. Done and done. Very, very simple. Much easier than it was the very first time ever doing it. <clears throat> this guy died, so I won't be talking to him. Didn't know he could die. Apparently he can. Picking up some random crap and moving right along. This next area is also incredibly easy. It is a great... Well, I suppose I should wait to talk about it when I actually get there. You'll also notice that I do make... It a point to buy as much metagel as possible. I like having as much metagel as I can at any given time because, by which I mean the metagel upgrades, because I just like to have that for doing crazy stuff because it's what keeps me alive. But I know that right now there's just red bars over here, so I charge in on them, finish that guy off with the raider. I fired slowly there because I wanted to make each shot actually count. And now I own this area. This area is mine. I'm watching that ladder because I know a centurion likes to come up from over there. And here he comes, not from the ladder, but whatever. I was waiting for him. And there's a grenade, and I don't know where it is, so I'm just taking cover. Don't want to die to that. And again, this area is mine. I control it. Got a headshot there. I'm not really worried about anything at this point. 
like these guys are just jumping up to their deaths, really, for the most part. But I know this guy... There's these guardians over here. And I was attempting to charge them to knock away their shields, but he, for some reason, wasn't staggered by my charge. But not to worry. Didn't get staggered that time either, but I have armor-piercing ammo, so I just fired through his mail slot, and the extra shots all went through and killed them through his shield from my armor-piercing ammo. So that worked out fantastically. And again, I'm just running around, picking up all the random crap. Sentry interface, which I will actually be using, that is 10% more armor. I use it in my next mission, which you will see. After this, guys, it's going to be a plot video, because a bunch of plot happens. Sorry about that, but I will be getting to Tuchanka this evening. My goal is to really spit out a lot of videos today, or rather tonight. It is 3 in the morning, 3.30 in the morning right now. I slept quite a while after my exhausting 24-hour marathon. Granted, pretty much every day is a marathon for me at this point, so nothing new. I'm actually starting to get used to it, which is horrifying, but what can you do? Such is life. So, moving along to the next area. This is actually getting near the end. Kind of funny, considering back in the day I had a whole episode dedicated to just killing the Atlas mech in a lot of my demo videos. Definitely think I've improved since then. And I know that this room is mostly red bar. There might be one Centurion or so. And this is where I was trying to set up a warp bomb using Dark Channel and Biotic Charge. And I'm fairly certain Biotic Charge can be used to detonate warp bombs but for Biotic Detonations. But maybe I'm wrong. It definitely did not work right there. And he was at red bar, so it should have. I don't know. And here things are getting a little dicey, getting shot by a bunch of guys just everywhere and i'm using my party members here to just kind of take the heat off of me controlling one with concussive shot and then using fire on the other one but no melee for you my friend and there the biotic charge actually worked so i don't know i don't know why it didn't work the one time but it worked that time maybe it did and i just didn't realize it but if it had the dark channel should have gone away so i don't know but this room is about over that will be essentially repeating the process once i talk to morden so again, double-checking, making sure I didn't miss anything. I think I'm going to pick up the raptor just to make sure I don't forget. And here it is. Won't be using that this time around. I did use it in my Engineer playthrough if you want to see it. I'll probably get to using it later, but I really do not favor sniper rifles on my Vanguard. Not really something I need at all. So, But I do like to use a variety of weapons, so who knows. I know actually quite a few players like the raptor. It is an interesting gun. Interesting rifle, I should say. Pretty accurate, considering how quickly it fires. And here's a scorpion. Definitely missed this on my last playthrough. Did not know it dropped here. I wound up buying it later, in fact. But again, won't be using it right now. It is too heavy to use along with the Raider, and I want to have low cooldowns. Even with my current setup, I actually have 85%, so I don't have over 100% or 200% or anything like that. So I could actually be charging way more often than I actually am, theoretically. And at this point, I really do not care about Guardians anymore. I'm not worried about them at all. My biggest worry is just the Centurion, shielded opponents. And here I start getting really, really heavily flanked. But charge is back up. I'm just charging face first into this dude. And unfortunately, I could have easily killed him there, but I did not have ammo. But I control him with a quick concussive shot. And now I'm going to deal with this dude. That time I did have ammo. It's the only real thing I dislike about the Raider is it just runs out of ammo really quick and it has a really long reload. And that's that, guys. That fight is over. Moving on to the next room. Again, this went very, very well. All the way around. I believe I have to talk to Morden, so I'll be back in a second after the plot. How are you holding up? Containment shield weakening. Can't take much more. I'm not your problem, Commander. You don't know me. But I'd like to. Hang in there. How many more checkpoints? Just the landing area. Hope we're not Reef still waiting. <sighs> he has to. I'll see you up top. We found the Krogan. Ah, yes, I forgot there was yet another freaking fight in this room. Three fights in this one room. Anyway. Again, the targets I want to deal with first are generally the shielded ones, because they are the biggest threat. Once those are gone, I can pretty much charge to whoever and be pretty safe. So, I wanted to get rid of that Centurion. 
I think there's somebody left. Yep, shoot out his kneecaps. That is done. So now this room is over. And we are moving on to the second to last fight. This is probably the hardest fight in the mission. It's not really hard though, it's just probably the hardest in the mission. There are two centurions in the group, and they do tend to wreck you when you get out of cover. So I just, I know they're going to be there, so I quickly do an overload and a decoy to just sort of deal with them. And I accidentally just, I think used pull, but that was definitely a mistake. So that kind of canceled out my momentum, but that's okay. Again, just kind of charging face first into these guys, making sure he is gone. But I am in a pretty poor position. There's really no cover around here. But fortunately, Garrus is not on cooldown. So that really helped. And then I just used Metagel to survive. And again, getting flanked. I thought that those guys would be controlled, but apparently not. I guess there were two more than I thought. There must have been four guys there. And this guy I'm worried about. So I actually let him on fire, hoping that that'll keep him out long enough that I can heal up and also reload. Bad combination, bad series of events. But I want to get out of here, so deal with this guy, finish him off. And there's a grenade here, and I didn't realize that when I started that melee. Fortunately, he died, and that actually canceled it out. Or it detonated somewhere else or something, I don't know. So a little bit more plot, I'll be back. Pop in transfers to loading area. Get you out of there. And here we go, so we are facing the Atlas mech. Of all the Atlas mechs in the game, this is actually probably one of the harder ones to deal with just because of how this room is situated and because of the assault troopers that flank you on the far right. And in my demos, I usually just go to the far right and deal with those guys immediately, but I didn't think I needed to, so I just kind of hunker over here and then charge to them when it's opportune. And I rolled to the left because I thought maybe I would just transfer to more cover, but instead it just kind of rolled across the ground, which wasn't good. I am out of metagel, so I need to be a little cautious in dealing with these guys. And now I'm just getting my bearings, seeing how many of them are. There are. There are three right now. Possibly four. According to the radar. But this guy needs to die. And I am, again, out of ammo. Sucks. But he's controlled. He's not attacking me, so I know that I am safe. Quick gut shot to him. Shouldn't have used the Raider from that far away. I am forgetting how poor it its accuracy is. And I know that there is one more Assault Trooper. Edie's dead. That's a problem. Fortunately, Garrus is over here, which is great. That'll tie up the Atlas mech for a little while. Making sure that the Atlas mech doesn't have LOS on me, line of sight. And get a little lucky here. Boom. He was just about to kill me, but he hit the cover. That would have sucked. But I thought it was worth the risk, so I did it. Sometimes you just get lucky. So there we go. Rezzing Edie. I just want her for a little bit of a safety net with decoy, making sure there's a decoy out. I mean, I know I can kill this guy, but I really don't want to die from some random fluke. I'm switching to my shuriken to deal with his shields, and I'll be switching back to the raider. It actually does solid damage against armor, especially with armor-piercing ammo at shorter ranges. And again, it's great to use Garrus and Edie as a vanguard because it allows you to deal with shields a lot easier, having double overload. And they're getting to the level now where their their cooldowns aren't as unbearable as they used to be. At least, coupled with my new strengths and whatever. I'm realizing that I need to fire a little slower. Make sure both shots actually hit. And he's getting in a position which is great for me because it's giving me high ground. And he's close enough that I can really get 
solid shots on him with the Raider. But Edie just went down again, but I don't think I need her. Just trying to finish this guy off. Got two shots right in the cockpit at, at short range and behind cover. So that should have minimized the spread, made it more accurate. And Garrus actually finishes him off. I could have killed him, but I wanted to make sure that I did not somehow die, either from his explosion or whatever. But that's it, guys. All that's left is plot. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Stay tuned for Tuchanka. Have a good one. Pull this off, Shepard. Let's make this quick. I'll take it from here. I'm not your property, Reeve. Why is Cerberus here? What do you want? Oh. <gasps>